fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. It is official. You have now traded Mel Gibson, Nicole Kidman, Russell Crowe, Hugh Jackman for one John Travolta. The movie career is on hold for a few months. John Travolta's latest role is Salesman for Qantas. But it's not really hard work for this self-confessed aviation geek. In fact, as part of the deal, he insisted on learning how to pilot a 747. Well, welcome to Sydney, First Officer Travolta. Thank you, and welcome aboard my aircraft. The pilot's uniform suits you. Oh, thank you. How does it feel to finally get your wings in terms of flying a 747? Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to show you my wings, if you don't mind. <laughs> in the movie Michael, I showed my wings, but they were different. These are different These kinds are, of wings. This is the 747 Qantas wings. How do the, those wings compare to two Oscar nominations? For me, it's the same, because I, uh, I've had a dream to be a, a pilot an airline pilot as long as I had a dream to be an actor. His love affair with Australia started with Saturday Night Fever and the Bee Gees. And then, of course, Grease with Olivia. Sandy! Danny? What are you, what are you doing here? I, I thought you were going back to Australia. And he even got to mix business with pleasure as a stealth bomber pilot in Broken Arrow. Ground control ready for all out. Well, you better take me for a tour of this plane yeah, of yours. Why don't we start with the back and we'll end up okay. at the front. Oh, first of all, this is uh, one of the dining areas. Mm -hmm. that, the Travolta uh, family has owned this old Qantas yeah. 707 for four years now. This is oh, Peter, <laughs> or Papa as we call him. How are you? And, oh, this, you. and this is Christopher over here. Say hi, Chris. Chris has a very distinctive history. He flew on Air Force One for three presidents. The galley is Travolta's favorite room on the plane, but is yet to try our Aussie delicacies. Yeah. Have you tried kangaroo? No. <laughs> Okay. You should taste kangaroo, it's delicious. Really? And it is the symbol of Qantas, of course. I don't of know course, how you right go eating it. Right now it's that. on the tail of every Qantas plane and it's shaking at, right. the, at the, the idea of your eating it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> We don't eat koala, though. Okay, well, no, I, don't I, do I, I appreciate that. Over the next two months, crew and family will fly to 80 different countries. At least they'll do it in style. And here we are. Uh, this is a sitting room, a dining room, or a bedroom, actually. This folds out to the bed. And, and who sleeps here? My son, Jet, sleeps here. Now, is it true that you called him Jet because of your love of planes? Yes. And my wife added a T yeah. to make it JTT. So, That's true enough. Yeah. This is a bathroom and a shower okay. here and a bidet. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you can really grasp the... This is where John Travolta showers. Yes. In the nude. Oh, God. Yes. Okay. I hope it doesn't hurt the visual. <laughs> and this but, is uh, where he and wife Kelly Preston okay. sleep with their two-year-old Ella Blue. Oh, the best pilot. Okay. Absolutely. Best landing. I pay the best to say that. This, no, he really is. He's perfect. It's an art for him. Fantastic. So no backseat driving from Kelly then. <laughs> no, in the car, yes. In the plane, no. He has, after all, spent 5,000 hours in the sky and could probably detail every minute of those, including the history of the aircraft too. Now, when Qantas first uh, started these airplanes, there was actually a navigator here that used a sexton to measure the, the distances uh, via the stars. He may be an American movie star promoting an Australian icon, but you get the feeling it's all from the heart. I thank you for making a little boy's dream come true. <laughs>